Right, okay, I was gonna be working on the heater today, but we've tested it, tested the heater. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So we're having to co contact the supplier of that for now. So we can get it replaced, get it fixed, get it whatever. But it's quite urgent, so hopefully they send us a new one, we'll send the old one back and hopefully the new one, when it comes, arrives, or if it arrives, if that's what happens, it works. So it's a bit of a pain. So we're reverting to another job, and that's putting up the cladding on the roof. But before we can put the cladding on the roof, we need to put in some wiring for all the lights. Now, there's a wire hanging out uh, just over there, coming out of some conduit, which comes down to here. We're going to reuse that um, because there's nothing wrong with that wire, good wire, and we're just going to extend that out to each word position where the lights are going to be. There's six lights in here, not four, so we put two this end, two in the middle, and two down that end. We just need to figure out exactly where we're going to put them and then attach some wire. We have two black wires coming down there for the two lights that go across there. We have two just here and we have two just here. As you can see, they're all they're enclosed in two D boxes up there, which um, the wires go into Wagos, which are enclosed in them, and it goes onto the main wire, which is already there through conduit. It goes down the back here, and then it comes out there. Welcome back to the workshop. It's a beautiful sunny morning here today. Right, so as you can see, last night we've managed to get some cladding on the roof of the van. <clears throat> I do have a roll of insulation that the customer already had, and I spoke to them. I said, Would they like me to put this on the roof to insulate the van a little bit? Because um, originally we was just going to clad it for them, nothing else. So, plan is we're going to get a bit of this insulation as well. So, I put a few pieces up that end and then we can tuck it in behind it and bring it across the roof and insulate as much of the van on the roof as possible um, using that plastic. It's quite a popular thing with people building vans. It's the recycled plastic loft um, insulation. This has been insulated in the walls, so <clears throat> it makes sense we'll put it in the ceiling as well. As you can see the insulation's up now and I've put these three pieces of um, cladding back up. This piece here is not fixed, the long piece going to the back. <clears throat> the reason being, at the back here, there is nothing to attach the end of the um, cladding to. So what I'm having to do, I've got to put a batter up against this wall, uh, against above the back doors. So, <sighs> cut it to size. Just got to find a place to put it and then screw it in place. Right, the way the roof is actually 
contoured at the top there, I need to take a triangular or an angle piece just off the end here. And I need to do that on both ends. I'm also going to put some slots in the back because the curve of the actual van itself is making it difficult. Um, when this is against that, it leaves a gap in the middle like that. So I'm going to put some slots in there. I think they're called curves, just to make it so it flexes a little bit easier. As you can see, I've angled the end off on both ends, and then I've like, <coughs> they're not curves, they're relief cuts, these are. Okay, <clears throat> and you go part of the way through the wood. So when you push the wood on a curved surface, the relief cut helps the wood bend slightly. It's a good tip for anybody who wants to put a piece of wood on a curved surface, and it's a flat piece of wood. Put some relief cuts in, but don't cut all the way through. Give yourself a little bit of bum. Gives it a little bit of flexibility. <laughs> That's the baton up against the back there. So when the cladding reaches the back now, it'll attach to under here. So they're the relief cuts that I've made in the wood, which helps it curve against the back of the van here. Unfortunately, I cut that one a little bit too deep and it was the first cut. So now that is up, we can now finish off cladding the roof. I was going to time lapse this so you could see it all. It's going to take forever, so you've seen a little bit of it. I'm going to get this finished. Uh, once the ceiling's finished, I'll come back to you. You can see what it looks like when it's finished, and then we'll obviously put the the fan covering with all the controls, which will be shown on the fan video. And then we'll get on with another job, which is blocking that window out. Um, obviously the diesel heater when the new one arrives because we've ordered another one uh, we've got to do a partition all over that side as well so we still got plenty to do on this van right okay so there you go we're about halfway through this roof cladding now as you can see over that side we've now put the lights up as well on that piece of cladding there they've been soldered to the wires that are hanging down Soldering is a lot better connection than just using crimps or anything like that. And now we've got to work our way down this side. So I reckon we're just over halfway through finishing this ceiling. So the aim is to get this done before it gets dark. Um, it's a 50-50 shot at the moment, but we're getting there. So hopefully I'll be coming back to you, if not in a little while, once we finish, because the sun's gone down, it's you know it's getting dark really quickly. If it's light enough, I'll get a video shot of it. If not, I'll give you a video shot of it when it's finished in the morning. The next day. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the transit build. I was hoping that this would be done this morning, as I said yesterday before I left, and it started to get dark. Hold my hands up. Didn't get it finished, as you can see, but I wasn't feeling all that great yesterday. Um, long and short of it. We all get ill at some point, and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I literally went home really, really early, and I went to bed. And I've had a good night's sleep. I feel 100 times better today. And we're going to crack on and get this finished. Before I finish off, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go the passenger side first. We're going to go 
at the end of that ceiling and then down this wall. So what I've done is cut three pieces that long, one piece that long, and I'm gonna attach it along here in the same position where the screws are in the ceiling. So when we come down the wall with the batten, we've got something to attach it to. Right, so I'm gonna get them fitted and then we're gonna carry on with the cladding that way down the passenger side. Then we're gonna to move to the driver's side. Because on the driver's side, we need to come down here. We're blocking this window up as per the customer's specification. We're gonna block it. We're gonna insulate it. And again, we're gonna cut some more pieces like this and they're gonna come all the way down. Now, I, I'm only going to clad down to the bottom the window here. Right, so what we've got to do today as well is block this window completely. <clears throat> so what we're going to do with this window is tint it then put a wrapped piece of board over the top of it to black it out completely. Uh, it's going to be black, uh, wrapped in a matte black wrapping. Now I did, I've done the board already, I thought I might be able to get away with it just putting the board against it without tinting, but it's not going to happen because the board shows through and it doesn't look as good as if it was tinted. So obviously you can see this has got a stencil on the window. So I can't use the window outside to cut the film to shape but luckily the window on the other side the dimensions width and height and everything is exactly the same so I've used that window to cut the film out to shape it to the curve of the window now I'm going to clean this side inside because we're ready to put the film on so the process is you've got to keep, make sure the window's absolutely spotless film is on here so what I've got to do now is peel off the backing and the easiest way to do it believe it or not is with your teeth Right, because we're working outside as well, as you pull the backing off, you spray the film.
so that is that side complete now. That's all cladded, ready to go. Um, I need to cut the aperture out of in here, wire the fan up at some point, but I think we'll leave that till last. So our next job is to secure this against there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the bunk bed up here and we're gonna attach 12 mil ply all the way down and then pack it out behind, put some sicker flex around the edges and secure that in place so that window's completely blocked with also not forgetting the 25 mil insulation that we've got the, uh, it's like Celotex, but we're using, I think it's Ecotherm. So we put a piece of that on there as well. Bit of extra insulation. Okay, so right, I'm not gonna film this bit. All we're gonna do is take this down, put it into the workshop with the rest of the items from the bed and the uh, table and that. And we'll come back to you when we're installed in the 12 mil ply. in place and that's not going to go anywhere we've secured those because when you're driving down the road for any reason there's any play or movement in this and it goes loose you don't want these dropping and this all falling out the last thing we want So there you go, it's another productive day at the workshop. Um, we finished off the cladding on the roof. We managed to get the window tinted, insulated. We had to take off the bunk to be able to get to it. As you can see, we've had to put the light on because um, it's getting rather dark. And obviously when it starts to get dark, it's getting rather cold. So for today, that is it for us here at the workshop. The next day.
Turn it on. It's kind of that place for cool. As you can see, we've just screwed on the finishing trim here where we boxed in the window. Um, all we've done is used a piece of cladding and scribed it with this tool. I'll leave a link in the description below to this um, profiler. It's a brilliant tool and I can't take credit for this, for actually finding this because um, I was watching one of Neil's videos uh, Urban Van Life, I'll leave a link in the description below for him as well. I was watching his videos after scribing with bits of wood and all sorts for yonks and he was using this. And since getting this I've never turned back and that gives you the edge there. So put a bit of wood against it and as you can see it. Okay, I'm afraid that's it with the transit build for the moment. That was the cladding video. And I know it's not a very exciting video, but it just gives you a few ideas of what you could do with your van. Um, obviously, because we had to block the window out, I wanted to see how we cladded that, how we insulated it. That was the main part on that video for me. And we've got one left thing left to do on this van, and that is to put the partition behind the rear seats. Um, there's a small wooden sort of wall going there, which is going to be cladded as well. 
and that'll be in the next video. So I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying really, really happy. Bye for now.